Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Catherine and it really is so good to be here with you today. I hope that all is well with you. I hope that you are living the good life, a beautiful life, even now. Even though it appears that things are a little chaotic in the world, there's a, a lot of darkness that seems to be uh, released. However, that does not have to impact you. If you are coming up higher into a living for Christ, that if you have Christ Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, then you can come up higher and experience a beautiful life. And that is what I'm inviting you uh, to experience here at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. But what it requires is that we go through some learning, some discipline, some understanding on how to live that beautiful life. And that is where the book of Proverbs comes in because Proverbs is the manual for living. And if you want to live a full life, a rich life, a complete life, then following wisdom's words will help you to do just that. You will win in life. You will have the success that you're looking for. So I'm inviting you to come and join me here at Lady Wisdom Speaks and to continue to listen each week as I come on on Saturdays here at uh, BNN, Boston Neighborhood Network, and your local broadcast, that you will come in and join me here each week for lessons on wisdom, on how to become more wise in this time period that we're in. Now, I call this time the era of wisdom. This is the era of wisdom. And right now we are in the decade of pay, which is speak, where wisdom speaks. And God wants to put in our mouths his wisdom that we can speak the right words and therefore speak life into every situation that we're in. God is going to assign us to different fields, different fields of study, different fields of knowledge, different fields of business and, and uh, with people, you know, communities, and he's going to connect us. This is such a time period where people are speaking, but God wants us to speak his word. What is God saying? And to speak wisdom, to speak wisdom into places where people don't know, don't understand, to give revelation that is godly, that is uh, divine, divine knowledge, to share it with others. So come with me here at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy, where we share this good word with you and that we talk about wisdom's words that are found in the book of Proverbs and throughout the Bible. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So that is our responsibility at this time, is to share the good news of the gospel, to bring people not just to the cross, but then disciple them in to becoming all that God will have them to be, to speak life into their lives, hallelujah, so that they can become that creation, that new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, they are new. They are new and able to fulfill their purpose, the reason why God called them onto the planet. Each and every one of us has a book, an assignment that we have, that God wants us to do. And so when we open up our hearts to the Holy Spirit and to wisdom, we are then downloaded. The download comes and we get fresh revelation of who God sees us to be. And then it is our responsibility to study, study that, study to, to be approved, a workman not needing to be ashamed, but rightly dividing that word of truth so that God's perfect will can be lived out in us and that we will be able to bring 
having here on earth the kingdom of God to our environment where we live to the people that we serve the people that God has called us to bless. Bible in Joshua chapter 1 when the children of Israel crossed over into the Jordan River across the Jordan River they came to a place where the Lord spoke to Joshua and he told him to uh, be of good courage to be bold and courageous and that is what God is telling us to do here and now today. It's going to take some boldness, some courage to do what God says because it's not going to look like how everyone else has done it in the past. He's going to give us some witty instructions. He's going to give us some unique understanding, some new and exciting and different ways of doing things, strategies and methods and procedures. But we've got to understand how God thinks. We've got to study to show ourselves approved, a workman not needing to be ashamed, but rightly understanding and dividing that word of truth that God is going to reveal to us. That's why we need to come to what I'm calling Wisdom University. Wisdom University. And the manual and the book that we are going to use to help us at Wisdom University is Proverbs. Proverbs is the manual for living. But also with Proverbs, we're also going to look at Ephesians. Because Ephesians tells us in the Bible, it's in the New Testament, it tells us about our identity, who we are in Christ. And then it tells us about our authority, what we can do and how we should do it. And it tells us that we don't work alone. We work in unity with others. But the scripture that I really want to emphasize with you is Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And this is in the NLT and it says it this way, study this book of instruction continually, meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. And here is another translation of that. And it says this, you must keep on Keep on speaking. Lady Wisdom Speaks. You must keep on speaking about the words of God's law. Think about what it says all the time. That's to meditate. Be careful to obey it. Obey it. Then you will do well and you will win. And that's the whole idea. We want to win in life. This is an exciting time to be able to go through 
Wisdom University, where we are partnering with the Holy Spirit, that he has now become our teacher and our guide. He is the one giving us the instructions and allowing Lady Wisdom and all of the other professors, Professor Understanding, Professor Good Judgment, Professor Common Sense, Professor Discernment, to then break down the information into different uh, schools of thought and understanding so that when we step out into the world that we are stepping out with confidence that our confidence is unshakable because we know that we know that we know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we think or imagine and that he has given us the authority to speak into our world and cause things to change, to bring heaven down here on earth, to say what God says and what Jesus taught us to pray. He said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We become heaven's kingdom agents of change. And we are able now to come up with strategies, solutions, methods, procedures, witty inventions. And I love the word witty because it is not as usual. It's different. It's unique. It's godlike. And we see God doing that all throughout the Bible and especially in the life of Jesus Christ. That many times he went around healing the sick and bringing deliverance, not just the ordinary way, but in different ways. He used different methods and different approaches to bringing about healing and deliverance in the lives of people. He even spoke about salvation in a unique way that even Nicodemus, who was a, a man of the law, he was a rabbi, he was a teacher of the scriptures. He didn't understand. It caused him to think. And that is what Jesus wants to do for us. He wants to take us through Wisdom University, where we will learn about our identity, who we are in Christ. We will learn about our uh, maturity, how to mature in the things of God and the different concepts that are in the Bible. That he will teach of um, us really heavenly revelation that we can apply down here on earth. And he will give us the boldness and the courage as we put on the whole armor of God, as he sends us out into the world to conquer. When he sends us out to deliver, he sends us out to teach the good news of the gospel, that we will do it with boldness and with courage, just like how Joshua and Caleb did as they went and they seized and captured and conquered Canaan land. We see when the Lord uh, Sabaoth, when the, the, the Lord, when Jesus comes before him, uh, that he has to uh, realize that there's some work that he has to do. It's not just going to be given to him like that, but his faith has to be activated to be able to um, get the work done. That the Lord wanted not just to spoon feed them like babies, but he wanted them to mature in him and come up into their own maturity, their own strength, their own ability, the, the power that God has, has placed in them to go and conquer the enemy. That their will, their mind, and their emotions had to be in it. Yeah, and that it's not just God was just going to provide miracles, which in the wilderness, God did miraculous things for them. That was, that was important. God gave them miracles. But now God didn't want to just give them miracles. God wanted them to be um, hands-on. That's right. He wanted them to be actively engaged in the process 
of winning the kingdom so that they had a stake in this. I, I believe that the children of Israel in the wilderness, they were just happy to be free, but they didn't, they weren't invested in the process. Whereas the um, Joshua generation, they now had to be engaged in the warfare they had to utilize the 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 belief system they had to grow up and mature and allow the voice of the lord to believe the voice of the lord to believe the instructions and how did they do this they did this by studying the word of god that's why right off the bat uh, Joshua was told in Joshua 1, 8, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. They had to go to the school of the spirit. They had to go into the word of God and make it their own. They had to move away from just concept into a living understanding of what the word is and then apply it application which ended up uh, cementing their confidence in god because um they were able to set up a memorial to remind them uh, well god brought us through this red sea god helped us with jericho god delivered us from these people and you know, they they uh, they had their struggles because in in Jericho, that whole experience at, at Jericho, one of the families uh, hid some of the spoils in, in their tents and caused the whole um, the whole company, the whole nation, to sin. And it's not until um, they found out who did it that they ended up uh, coming to the place where they realized we've got to obey God. We cannot go back to the selfish way of thinking about me and mine and oh that looks good. No, we had to, they had to realize that this is a time of obedience to the instructions. That's why Joshua was told to study this book of instruction continually and that is what God is telling us to do now in this era if we're going to win if we're going to uh, be bold and courageous we have to determine in our minds that we are going to be obedient to what God says that we're going to meditate on it day and night so we will be sure to obey everything not just some things but everything written in it and only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do um, it's because now we are obedient and we are obedient not some of the time but all of the time and that we take in the word of god the rhema word that new word that god is telling us that we turn take in this revelation divine revelation you know why it's important for us to do that because uh, we are in the latter days and jesus christ is coming back soon and he is looking for a bride who is uh, obedient um, according to the proverbs 31 woman that she is engaged in teaching and admonishing and helping and bringing the kingdom of God here on earth and that she's not doing it for her own self gratification but rather to build up what God wants done what father God desires it says thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven to bring heaven and earth together that's where we are right now this is an exciting time to live where we are going to be moving from conceptual understanding where we're just gaining a lot of knowledge we have some understanding or comprehension but we don't know how to apply 
this information into our daily lives so that we can grow and become more richer and aware. We want to just move from book Bible knowledge and come into what is called revelation knowledge into living understanding and then the application of true testimony of God's goodness, of his healing ability, his chain, ability to change our environment, that we can tear down Satan's strongholds and build up our communities so that they will thrive and be blessed, that we will bring the kingdom of God down here on earth and that earth will be an oasis wherever you are will become an oasis of God's goodness and love that people will be able to come in and be blessed that you are blessed to be a blessing and to serve others well. Hallelujah. You will be like your Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, going around doing good and helping all those that are oppressed, that they can be free, they can be delivered, and they can walk in the fullness of what God offers us. When Jesus said, it is finished, it is done, he didn't just say that for that moment, but he said it is finished, it is done, in that the, the door is open, that we can walk into the promised land, and that we can have a relationship with our Father God, that we are no more strangers, but that we are now sons and daughters of God as we walk into this new era of wisdom, that we can move into the spiritual realm of what God has called us to be, his church, his bride. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so God is calling us to a higher place in him of belief and trust in God for um what he died for. He died for us so that we can be empowered, that we can follow him, that we can have um, not just an earthly experience, but that we can be transformed by the renewing of our mind, that we can receive God, uh, God's grace, hallelujah, his amazing grace in our lives, that we can have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and have a personal relationship with the Father that we can walk in the Spirit as sons and daughters. He's given us this this opportunity to have the the identity that that Father God planned for us in the beginning and to restore us back to where we left off, where Adam and Eve sinned, that we are back and that we can now walk it out, walk out what God has made us to be, sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. That we can walk in the spirit, that we've regained our spirit realm. Hallelujah. That we're not just in the natural, but that we can also walk in the spiritual, walk in the divine knowledge that Christ has for us and that we can make things happen here on earth. Because heaven, heaven is quite fine. Heaven is a beautiful place. But it is here on earth that we need to see the transformation. It is here on earth that we need to see heaven here on earth. That we need to see the kingdom of God come here on earth. This is where we need uh, the activation. This is where we need the, um, the healing power of God, the, 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 the spoils of victory for Jesus Christ needs to happen here on earth where we are able to uh, bring people into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. That's what God wants. He wants us to win souls for him. Hallelujah. That he can gain the glory. Hallelujah. He can gain the glory and the victory. Hallelujah. Over sin and death. 
he's got the victory. We've got the victory because it's finished work. But that we can see it manifested. The manifestation of God's goodness here on the earth. That's where we are. That's what we can offer. We can offer to the world that they do not have to be poor anymore. That they don't have to be sick anymore. That our God can provide deliverance from depression and pain and all of these things. And that we know God and that God is true to his word. And that when we accept him into our hearts, that he comes to give us life and that more abundantly. So let us go through. Let us walk in. Let us do what we need to do. Let us be attentive and be good students of wisdom, lady wisdom, as we study the word of God, as we learn the techniques of the Holy Spirit, and we learn to think like God, to move like God, and to believe God, believe him, hallelujah, with confidence and boldness, knowing that if God said it, that settles it. And that's the way it's going to be. Hallelujah. Praise his name forevermore. And uh, thank you so much for listening. And thank you so much for watching. So now let me bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he fill you with his peace. Lady Wisdom says that you are wonderful. You are beautiful. You're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let the whole world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And see you next time right here at Lady Wisdom Speaks. Have a great day. God bless you. Yeah, let's get ready to go to school. Wisdom Academy. Wisdom University. Woo! <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.